today I'm in Novi Sad, the second biggest city of the country to do some sightseeing, to explore a new place. So we're gonna head into the center of the city and explore Novi Sad. I've now made it to the city center and to St. George's Church. This church is quite special because from the outside it looks like a Catholic Baroque church, but inside it's an Orthodox church. So that's a very rare thing. Just also wanted to say this trip to Novi Sad is easy to do as a day trip from Belgrade. There are buses every half hour. It's very easy, you get to the bus station and then you have to walk about 20 minutes or so to the center of the city. Of course, you can also come here to Novi Sad and spend the night. There are plenty of hotels. In my opinion it's already worth coming to Novi Sad for the old town itself just had a stroll around there and the buildings are really beautiful very colorful really enjoy it so far but they also have a nice park it's called Danube Park and it's very close to the Danube River obviously the Danube River flows through Novi Sad first and then goes down to Belgrade after so we're gonna head over to the river and have a look The city fortress is without a doubt the coolest thing to see in Novi Sad. You get an amazing view over the whole city, or at least I hope so because I'm on the way up there now. Just wanted to tell you a bit more about the history of this castle, this fortress. For a very long time it was owned by the Osman Empire and then it was overtook by the Austrians and now belongs to Serbia. So let's go up and have a look around. concludes my visit to Novi Sad. Compared to Belgrade it seems very small so it's easy to walk around the whole city see everything on foot. I hope you enjoyed this tour today and thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>